Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are all doing well and are having a beautiful week. Today's video, we will be looking at five new hot luxury items that I shan't be buying. Before we get into things, if you could hit the like button and make sure you're subscribed so you never ever miss a video. I post up every Wednesday and Saturday at 3 p.m. and we focus on luxury and fashion. And I apologize for my nail situation right now if you do catch a glimpse of them. Too much talking with the hands means you might see this. <laughs> <laughs> right, jumping straight onto the big boss of this whole video, the Chanel 22 bag. <laughs> you know when you have so much to say but you don't want to say just in case someone gets offended because a lot of people love this bag, surprisingly. Personally, I, I can't, I can't, I, I, I don't get it. It looks like something that should be given as part of a freebie. You know when you buy certain beauty products like Saint Laurent and stuff like that, they give you like a bag <laughs> as a freebie. That should be Chanel's version of the freebie that you get whenever you buy any of their beauty products because oh my gosh. It looks like a drawstring bag and also because it reminds me of a bin liner. I don't, I don't know what you trash can liners? What do you call them in America? <laughs> <laughs> so the bags that you put inside the bins, that bag just reminds me of it. Okay, it doesn't have Chanel on it, but the fact that it looks like that, I mean, where's the originality in the actual bag itself? Apart from the fact that it's now made out of leather and has Chanel stuck onto it. Like, what is going on? Chanel, come on! I personally feel like you wouldn't expect something like this made by Chanel. It's very off-brand. And also, let's talk about the quality issues, okay? Like, what's going on? Uh, I know people are like, oh, you know, people slate Chanel and blah, 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 and we all... Uh, uh, hang on. They give us reasons to slate! I mean... Chanel letters falling off the actual bag, cracking on the actual bag. Uh, those are all things that you wouldn't expect from a brand like Chanel. And with the price tag of £3,945, almost £4,000 for the smaller one. At this stage, the math ain't mathing. For the price that you're paying, that definitely shouldn't even like, it should not be any way, like this shouldn't be happening. I'm, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying my hardest. Like I'm literally trying my hardest to see what other people see when they look at this bag, but I just can't do it. I love the whole relaxed, laid back look myself, but that Chanel bag is not it. <laughs> These next items are more of a trend focused item as opposed to like one particular brand. Gucci have their own version, Bottega Veneta have their own version and it's these sandals in like a terry cloth. Now for me, all I'm thinking in my head is like, <laughs> you know when you go for a spa weekend, they usually give you a robe and a pair of slippers and these slippers remind me exactly of those hotel slippers that they give you to walk around in. Apart from the fact that these have a platform, I mean, in the nicest way possible, why would anyone want to walk around with a pair of shoes that looks like they're meant to be used only on a spa weekend away? Uh, like, why? <laughs> It's like with the sliders. I could never understand like wearing sliders. Sliders were something that you wear on the beach or around the house, but never outside in public. Do you know what I mean? And then everyone started wearing the sliders, like they would go shopping in sliders and stuff. And I still, maybe that's why I never bought like, you know, the big chunky sliders. Maybe that's why I never bought a pair of those big chunky sliders because in my head, I associate that with either being at home or, I don't know, walking from your hotel room down to the pool and that's as far as it goes. Not actually something that you would use on a day-to-day -day basis like, oh yeah, I'm just going shopping or, oh, I'm just going out for lunch with the girls. Like, no, no, those are bed slippers. <laughs> They're not going out shoes. This is a definite no no on my part. Um, let me know if you guys would consider buying a pair of them. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm starting to feel like brands are relying on influencers because of how influenced people are. And I shouldn't really be saying this because it's very, very bad. It is so easy to release something that is rubbish. Like, no thought has gone into anything, they release it, but because it's from Bottega Veneta and all the social media influencers are wearing that particular item, that item will be guaranteed to sell out. And I feel like a lot of these brands are now starting to rely on the fact that social media influencers have a huge, huge, huge 
um, influence on thousands of people. So yeah, I don't quite personally get the whole buying a pair of slippers that look like they should be used on a spa weekend as opposed to going out for lunch with your friends. On to my third item, which is actually a bag from Balenciaga and it's called the Lindsay. <laughs> <laughs> shoulder bag and okay we, we, we can see the inspiration because now everyone has a shoulder bag I mean Prada has a sh shoulder bag Celine have their shoulder bag Saint Laurent now have their shoulder bags Balenciaga have released theirs and for me personally yes okay fine you're inspired by the 90s but the whole shape of it I'm I'm not a fan of it I really really don't like it and I feel like it's a very harsh looking bag it's very masculine and it looks like an angry bag <laughs> what I see when I look at it. Maybe it's because of the black as well with the with the silver. No, mm -mm. no, it's too harsh for me. I don't like it. I really, really don't like it. And I think in general, to be completely honest and blunt with everyone, I've never really been a fan of any of Balenciaga's bags. Like I've never seen one bag. <gasps> no, actually, I did see one very recently. It's a woven Balenciaga bag and I saw it on Instagram. I'm going to try and find a picture and I'll put the picture here or video, whatever it is. But Oh my goodness, it was so, so pretty. And I liked that bag. That's the first bag that I've ever seen by Balenciaga that I thought, oh, do you know what? I, I, I would like that. But then because I've got my Prada wicker bag, I'm like, <laughs> will I actually use it? I don't know. I just never ever looked at any Bal 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 Balenciaga's bags and thought, oh, that's really nice. The prices start from 1,290 and that's for the smallest size. Everything looks cuter in a smaller size. Okay, I've changed my mind just a little bit. I think the black makes me like, <laughs> angry. <laughs> but the other colors aren't too bad. You've got a really, really pretty pink one, and then you've got this beautiful bright green one. But it's not a bag that I think will be very popular. My fourth item, which is gonna be 100% big, and I'm guaranteeing these are gonna sell out like hotcakes, but the Chanel Wellies. 1,600 pounds for a pair of Wellies? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> They're gonna do exactly the same thing as another pair of wellies does, a £20 pair. I mean, you can get them for £20, right? Yeah, you can. I personally have a pair of hunters. I like my hunters for the winters, for the cold months, because you can get a pair of hunter socks and those keep your feet nice and toasty. But I would not spend anywhere near a thousand pounds for a pair of rubber boots. That is just saying I have money and I have nothing else to spend it on. If you have to think about your money and where it goes, these are definitely not a purchase I would ever encourage anyone to get. <laughs> these are definitely, I want to say a waste of money and only because <laughs> the cost to make them. <laughs> is nothing in comparison to what they're selling them for. Last but not least, and my final, I shan't be buying, I'm on Prada. And it's the Raffia tote bag. Question, if it didn't have Prada in the middle of the bag, do you think you would spend 50 pounds on that particular bag? Why on earth would anyone want to spend 1400 on a tote bag that looked like this? Please explain. You can't talk about quality, craftsmanship or any of that stuff because at the end of the day, you could get that exact same bag for 20 pounds from the beaches in Italy. <laughs> The larger tote, which is 1,550, that I can, I can, I can start to justify. And you know, I can see maybe why you'd spend that little bit extra for that. But the other one, just forget about that one and go for the larger tote. <laughs> because it's not, it, it, it doesn't make any sense to spend 1,400 on this little netted bag. I mean, if you want to go fishing and you want to catch some fish, just use the bag. Done, your Prada bag. Those fish will be getting caught in style. But yeah, that's just my opinion. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a beautiful rest of the week and I shall catch you in Saturday's video. Take care, bye.